is the purchasing manager of Kraft Foods, and he wants to determine the supply mix that will result on a minimum cost. He is able to determine the data necessary for him to make a decision. A gallon of Alaska milk can produce five cases of cheese, seven cases of butter and nine cases of cream. A gallon of Nestle milk can produce 11 cases of cheese, eight cases of butter and four cases of cream. He must produce at least 110 cases of cheese, 112 cases of butter, and 72 cases of cream per day. Alaska milk cost $50 per gallon, while Nestle milk cost $55 per gallon. The figures are summarized in the table. How many gallons of Alaska milk and Nestle milk should he purchase per day to minimize cost? How much is the total cost? All right. Welcome to all of you sa ating pagong tutorial for our POMQM and it's application of course sa linear programming minimization method tayo. I-apply natin for this discussion ang ating napag-aralan na minimization model, specifically yung example natin regarding the craft. No, so ituturo ko dito kung paano ginagawa sa POMQM na software ang minimization linear programming. No? So, let's start. For the first step, tulad nung dati, let's go to module para maset natin sa linear programming ang ating software. Then, let's have new. No? Gagawa tayo ng bago. Sige, for the title, let's uh, input siguro LP minimization na lang. Yan. Then, title ng ating example para maalala natin. Okay, so LP minimization and craft. For the number of constraints, as you can see dito, we are, we are required to input kung ilan yung number of constraints natin. Now, for the problem na craft, if you can still remember, we have cheese constraint, we have butter constraint, and we have cream constraint. To be honest, our constraint is 4. No? Dahil nga we have the non-negativity constraint. But for this software, ang ilalagay natin is 3 lang muna. No? So, 3 constraint. And for the number of variable, we have 2, which is which are the Alaska and the Nestle na gallon of milk. For the objective function, as I have told you before, our goal is to minimize the cost. So, click natin yung minimize. Then, by default naman na itong constraints na mga label. Anyway, i-edit pa naman natin mamaya yung label ng constraints natin. Same with the column and with the overview. Overview, no need to input. No, uh, Pinapakita niya lang dito kung para saan yung module na ito, kung anong purpose niya. So, for the column names, by default, naka x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 siya. We can still ed edit this if we want. No, so for now, let's click OK. Then it will prompt us sa ating tab blue or sa table natin na ginagamit no, for graphical solutions. Sige, lagay natin for example 1, we have Alaska. Then Nestle. Then minimize constraint 1 is cheese. Constraint 2, we have butter. And of course, we have the last constraint, our cream. For the Alaska, ang, minim, ang cost natin per gallon is 50, 55 for Nestle. And pababa tayo, 5, 7, and 9. Sa kabila naman, Nestle, we have 11, 8, and 4. This is just uh, from, the, from the sample problem, you know, if you can still remember. So, lahat yan, since ang goal natin is to minimize, automatic yung mga sign nila is greater than or equals. And for the RHS, let's input our cases per day na minimum na dapat ma-produce based sa ating scenario ng problem. So, we have 110 for the cheese constraint. For the butter, we have 112. And lastly, for the cream, we have 72. Okay, so before we click the button solve, check muna natin kung okay yung mga na-input natin. We have 55, 7, and 9. We have 55, 11, 8, and 4, 1, 10, 1, 12, and 72. Okay, so so far okay naman ang input natin. 
As you can see, sa pinakadulong column, no, sa ating last column, nagawa niya yung equation form ng ating objective function and ng ating mga constraints. No? So, sige, let's try clicking dissolve or write. So, yan. Ipapakita niya ulit dito tulad ng maximization natin last time. For the graphical, ito lang po siya sa bandang baba. No? If we click this one, yan. Ipapakita niya yung itsura ng graph natin. And pwede niyong i-check no, if tama tayo sa minimization natin to graphical and simplex. Sabi niya dito, ang optimal solution or ang base dito sa table na nasa gilid, no? Kung titignan natin, ang pinakamaliit dyan na cost is eto, yung dulo, no? 775. And the unit is dollars. And yung point natin is 2.90901, And tama tayo, no? If you will recall our example last time sa ating graphical and simplex method, no? Tama yung corner points natin, okay? So, okay tayo sa graphical. And for the simplex, if gusto niyo makita yung complete iteration, ito lang ang i-click, no? I-maximize natin yung view. Okay, yan. So, total of nakailang iteration tayo, we have five iterations. No? So, ganyan siya. Ayan. Alright. So, I hope na, ano, na-appreciate nyo yung ating application ng software. No, para po makita yung final answer, ulitin ko for the simplex method, dito lang kayo titingin sa label dito sa gilid, sa pinakadulong iteration, no? So for the Alaska 2.9091 which is ito yung x sub 1 natin. Ayun, sa quantity niya no sa last column. And for the Nestle, we have 11.4545. All right. So we also have our final solution, no? If ay yung tignan sa iteration and of course sa graph ay yung tignan doon. We have final solution dito. Ayun, diyan niya siya makikita. So, yan. When we say surplus, ito yung sobra, no? Sa ating mga variable. So, dito, 30.54. And, yan. Same sa ating nakita sa graphical. We have 2.9091, Or dito, 46 na dahil for decimal places. And optimal value is 775.45. 45 dollars. So, that's it. That's the summary on how we can apply the linear programming minimization through the POMQM software. Di ba? Mas mabilis siya kapag naka-software tayo. So, thank you for watching this presentation and hoping for a great journey sa pag-aaral ninyo ng operations research and management science. No? So, thank you, thank you.